You know, man, like I hear a lot of talking, bro. I hear a whole lot of talking. I hear a whole lot, a lot, a lot of. But without further ado, what's good with y'all people? What it do, fam? My name is Jair Rusoke. I'm back at it again with another video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit. And make sure to watch the video all the way to the end. Man, my whole entire life, man, all I'd hear is just this. This is all I've ever seen. This is all I've ever known. It's just people talking, this, this, and that. But at the end of the day, as we all know, what separates men from the boys is the people that do versus the people that say. And uh, quite frankly, um, I'm really just making this video for all the young men that are like me. Man, I don't give a fuck who the fuck it is, man. You better stand your fucking ground, bro. You better stand your goddamn ground. You better grab your nuts and you better stick your fucking chest out and let niggas know what the fuck is up. Point blank period, bro. I was out and about yesterday and, you know, I was just doing my, my certain due diligence and everything. And then uh, this dude came up to me and, uh, you know, we had like a little bit of a heated exchange or whatever. This is and that. And... It was just funny because like during the middle of it or whatever, right when he um, was in the middle of, uh, you know, talking all of this shit and saying whatever this, this and that, um, I literally just kept getting closer and closer to his face because I'm the type of person where I don't sit around and wait for people to say and do stuff. I'm over here looking at him and like getting a little bit closer because like I'm about ready to fucking swing, right? Mind you, got a fucking broken fucking foot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't give a fuck, though. But we'll get back into that. So everything's going down. I'm not going to give too much of the details of the situation, but every shit's going down. You know what I mean? Dude is chirping hella hard. And then, he, and then uh, eventually I just said, look, bro, you're either going to whoop my ass right now or you're going to take your ass out of here and fucking leave. You got two options, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not over here trying to really fight you. I was honest with him. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really trying to fight you because dead ass my foot is broken. But if I have to kick your ass or kill you, I will do it. And I, those are my exact fucking words. Flash forward. And that's when he said, oh, that's big talk for a cripple. That's big talk for a cripple. And I just said, all right, bro, this cripple can still whoop your ass, right? And then uh, lo and behold, all the Karens that were around who were watching got up and said, hey, the cops are on their way. You need to leave him alone. He's not even doing anything. This dude is literally hurt and you're over here trying to fight him. And da da da, -da this, this, and that. And I just stayed there until the cops came. Cause I didn't give a fuck. I just stayed there until the fucking cops came. And I talked to them about it. And his bitch ass already left by then. Basically right as they showed up. But moral of the story it is the main reason why I'm sharing this video is because at the end of the day, bro, as a man, bro, you have to have nuts, bro. Like, fuck what fucking society has to say. Fuck what all these other pussy ass fucking niggas have to say who aren't even real fucking men who let their women fucking run them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what fucking television and all these other broadcasting companies try to show you to, to be the nice guy and to be the little you know knight on shining armor no fuck that bro if you call yourself a fucking man you will do whatever it takes to protect not only yourself and your family members but your fucking honor and your fucking dignity bro i don't give a fuck what nobody fucking says there is an attack on fucking masculinity nowadays and i don't give a fuck what nobody tries to say they are trying to switch the dynamics of masculinity and femininity and blend them and put femininity on top. It's not how it works, bro. I don't give a fuck what anybody fucking says, bro. If you have a dick and balls, people are going to treat you like you have a dick and balls. And what do I mean by that? That means that you're going to get tested. Other men are going to try to hurt you. Mostly because they're insecure about themselves. Mostly because they're pussy ass people who have nothing going for themselves in their life. And they try to make you feel less about yourself for whatever reason. Or they think that they're bigger and badder than you. So they're just going to try to fucking put hands on you or do some shit like that. But at the end of the day, though, if you call yourself a fucking man, you will not tolerate that shit. 
I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I was ready to get down, bro. I was ready to get down. I literally am just so mature nowadays to the point where it's like, hey, I'm not gonna be the one who's sitting there doing this 24 seven. I'm not gonna be the one who's even, you know what I'm saying, doing all that shit. But at the end of the day, I'm. you're not gonna punk me out, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, you're not gonna fucking make me look like a little bitch. Like, I, like, I don't give a fuck, bro. It's ni like these niggas always try to act all hard in front of their bitches and their children when it's like at the end of the day, bro, like you're setting a poor example for your kids and your family. Like, I'm not even going to sit up here on this video and fucking diss on this fucking bitch ass dude. But at the end of the day, bro, what are you training your kids subconsciously to do? You're training your kids to be pussies. Who the fuck? in their right mind picks on a fucking 20 year old man when you're probably in your 40s or 50s over a bag of, of fucking chips like my nigga like bro we're crossing the fucking aisle and you start fucking with me over a bag of chips like i'm not even gonna get into it but it's like dude like <laughs> You're basically teaching your kids to think impulsively and to just do whatever the fuck they want to. Newsflash for you. That's not how the real world works. You can't just do and say whatever the fuck you want to. And if you do, you're going to have to live with the consequences. So yes, you can, but yes, you're going to get consequences. And that's what it is. And the consequence would have been him getting his ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? And it will be if I ever see him again once I'm healed. You know what I mean? But... At the end of the day, though, that's another story for another day, if that even happens. But all jokes aside, though, I'm trying to teach y'all just like how I'm learning from my OGs now how to be a true fucking man. You know, it's not about like always flexing. It's not about the muscle. It's not about the, the feathers and the glittery shit. It's about standing on your core principles, bro. What do you truly believe constitutes being a fucking man? There's a baseline for masculinity but then everybody else has their own different forms of it but there's still the baseline you know what i mean and then the other branches spread out but all that being said you have to fucking protect your dignity bro no one is gonna respect you not sticking up for yourself bro and that's just facts that's just fucking facts bro it doesn't matter if you can get your ass whooped like, this dude was fucking bigger than me, and I'm fucking crippled, bro. It's the real world. He could have he could have whooped my ass. Like, I'm going to be honest. He could have whooped my ass. So what? So what? I'm going to tell you all like this. If you don't already have that dog in you, bro, life is going to bring it out of you. Trust me. Trust and believe that. I've always had that dog in me, but it just got even crazier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As I got an older. But you know, it's controlled. It's controlled. Because that's how it's got to be. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm an adult now, too. You got to realize, like I said earlier in this video, you got to know your repercussions. But at the same time, what needs to be done in every single situation? You holding frame. You have to remain masculine. You cannot let people get you out of your element. You ain't got to be all chirpy. You ain't got to be all extra. All you got to do is just let people know what's up. Because trust me, they're going to feel your energy, bro. They're going to feel you, bro. You can't change other people physically by being like, oh, I change right now. No, you can't do that shit. The only way that you can truly make people change is if you be a living example on why they should change. And that's just what it is. They have to see you doing better for yourself or show or see you showing your dominance in order for them to fucking stop. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? You think you think you think that nigga would have or just anybody would have ever respected me if I would have just walked away? You think I would have even respected myself if I would have just walked away from that? Hell no. Nah. I'm in the real world, bro. I'm in the real world, bro. Anybody is in the real world. But especially once you hit 18, bro, you in the world, bro. You out the matrix, nigga. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm talking too much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that shit. The video is over. <sighs> Stay in your frame, my guy. Don't ever let anybody try to intimidate you because they're bigger. I don't give a fuck when nobody says a real man takes the ass whooping. No matter what. Take the beating. 
takes the backlash all in the hopes of protecting his future and his dignity that's what a real man does anyways i'm out this bitch <laughs>